I'm in a predicament right now guys. After using the new Shimmer Knight 5 and R6 Lian together, it has made me realize even more that R6 Daji is the most overpowered PvP Esper in the game by far. R6 Daji in this game is number one. There is no doubt about that. This bitch is so OP that she has three revives to herself. She can revive the ally as well. And she retaliates with a pretty much a one-shot mechanic with her S3. It is so ridiculously overpowered that I don't know if I can keep playing this game free to play. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, just a real quick rundown on Daji. If you have her at R2 and she revives your ally, she will retaliate with her S3 right here. When an ally consumes Runo right stacks, she will counterattack with the bewitching spell, which is her S3. Her R6 is where it gets even more stupid. Inflicts puppet art on all enemies. This is so overpowered when the enemy team does not have any cleanser because the enemy teams will all target her. She will taunt every single one of those as, uh, enemies and take true damage from her S2 passive. And then not only that, she now can revive herself by consuming only three of the funeral rite stacks and she has nine. Nine! So within a match, she can revive three times. It is limited, unlike Ana. Ana can revive infinitely, but she has a retaliation mechanic to it. Unlike Ana, right? Ana only revives and then she does nothing else. This bitch revives and then one shot the unit that killed your ally or herself. It is so ridiculously overpowered. Why do I say I'm in a predicament right now? It's because I am contemplating if I should spend to buy this universe pass right here. This is one of the highest value pack in the game pretty much forever. I think this is definitely the highest value pack in the game that they have ever released. You're getting 200 and almost 216 summons um, and then you're getting her divinate and also you are getting almost a full copy of a resonance. Nine, nine of these ripple boxes which gives you five ripples and that could go in into Daji as well. So you're getting 45 fragments for Daji. You're getting all of these rewards right here. You're getting a uh, divinate disc and you are also getting rewards because you are summoning on this one, right? So you have a chance to get um, fragments right here. You have a chance to get gold record. You have a chance to get all of this re um, elemental records. I've done the math a little bit. Actually, this is not 216 draws. The planet pass is actually not 1,800. It's actually 1,500. So um, this is the new value right here. So you're actually getting 213 summons. And then within those 213 summons, you will get on average, if you get average luck, you will get 13 summons, which only gives you one copy, but it's close enough to get you the second copy. My situation right now is I already have two copies of her keepsakes. So getting 13 will put me at 15 and I will need about three more copies to on average get her second copy. For those who don't know, I am completely free to play in this game and every other gacha game I do spend on games. But this pack just offers way too much value at the cost of... how Wait, $20? How am I supposed to feed my future kids? But uh, again, the, the value is... a. Uh, insanely high in this pack especially because Daji is the best by far PvP expert in the game and she's also very good for PvE as well I, I, I can't turn this down I, I don't know so the best way to determine whether I should spend on the pack or not is to do a roulette spin I'm going to do let's see here uh, 10 if I get more than 50% on spend I will spend and if I get more on don't spend I'm not gonna spend. Come on. Okay. The first one is already a don't spend. Okay. Second one is spend. I don't know. I don't know how to make the spin faster. Um, so we'll have to take a look at the animation. Okay. The second one is already spend. So we're one up on the spend and don't spend. I don't know. I don't know which one I want more to not spend or to spend. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We're 3 to 1. No. 
I'm gonna lose my free to play, free to play by the way, title. Ain't no way. Uh, I'm gonna lose my free to play by the way, title. No way. Okay, this time it's a don't spend. I put this probability to be 50 50, but so far it's not 50 50. Come on. I don't know which one is better for me to spend or not spend. Okay, we got three, four to three right now. Still not. 50-50, come on. This is going to be, oh my god. Okay, if I get like a, a spin right here, I'm actually gonna do 15 more spins. Because that's a bit anti-climatic, right? One, two, three, that's eight spins so far. Damn. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna do 15, 15 spins. Ain't no way, ain't no way. This was a little bit anti-climatic. We got like 6 super early on. So for me to spend right now, I would need 8 out of 15. <laughs> no way! <laughs> the game wants me to spend! Nah... This is crazy, man. Okay, that should be a don't spend. We are... What is that? 11 results. And one, two, three, four. So that's seven to four. Seven to four. If I get one more spend, then I have to spend. I have no other choice. The the, the dislike gods have uh, given me the the signs to spend. Like, how how can you make this up? I put 50-50 and look at how many times it goes to spend. <laughs> okay, we're at 13 right now. Two more spins. If this one lands to don't spend, that I can. This is gonna be okay. Okay, that's it. So close. <laughs> oh man, damn. Looks like I have to spend then, because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's eight out of fifteen. God damn. Well. I guess I have no choice but to spend. This will be the first ever thing that I spent on this light. I have not spent a single dime on this game. But like I said, this is just way too good to pass up on. R6 Daji is broken and she is unfair in PvP. And um, she's going to last a very long time in the PvP unless they release like some stupid broken Esper that can 100% counter her. Um, but yeah, I don't really see that ever happening. Even if they counter her, it's just one unit. They would have to release like they would have to release like five different espers that completely counter her for her to be bad in PvP. When I click this, my free to play by the way title will be stripped away from me. Boom. Wait, what? Okay, I can't do it. I have to log into my phone. Give me one second. All right, that's it. My free to play by the way title is officially gone. I made the purchase on my phone because I couldn't make it on the blue stacks. But uh, yeah, that's it for my free to play journey. This is the only one time that I'm gonna be spending, unless they make like a another Are you sure about that? high value pack that I just can't pass up on. There we go. I've unlocked the pass right here, and look at the rewards I'm getting. No more free to play, by the way. I can't put that in the uh, description anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, the value is just way too much. Boom, there we go. 21 or th 213 summons. If you guys want to spend on the game, this is definitely the one pack that you, you should be spending on. Um, and you can pretty much skip on the rest. But yeah, the next video is going to be me summoning on Daji and see if I can get at least two copies of her. Because right now I have her at R2 right now. That's about it, ciao.